Hey, what's up guys? Even though Espresso is such a minimalistic framework, some of the things are pretty hard to implement. For example, uh, the, the stuff that involves other applications. For example, image picking, like using default uh, camera application or gallery intent. Let me show you what I mean. So, for example, there is an image and uh, when I click on it, I have an intent chooser to pick from camera or other galleries. And after that, I'm not sure if it's gonna work on ML editor, but after that, the after I pick the image, it's gonna be set here. So this part is uh, not that obvious to implement with Espresso, to test with Espresso. For example, you cannot even click on those items with the Espresso perform click interactions. So basically you cannot uh, interact with other applications at all. But luckily there is Espresso Intense, which uh, basically you mock the results of Intense that you choose to, for example, when you click on the image, the there is an intent called and you can just mock this intent and re return the result right away. So you just need to add some of those dependencies. And let me, let me show you first the actual activity, what it looks like. I'm using uh, my library, uh, which is a abstraction over this library, image cropper, just to reduce the permission requirements and uh, all that boiler plate code. So basically that's everything that I need to write. Instantiate image picker, provide a listener, which gives me the image URI. So this will be called after image is picked. And then I set it on the image and uh, delegate the work for activity result and permission result to image picker. And here's the layout. The image on top here, this one, just uh, to trigger on click listener. And the second one is uh, on the background, displays the selected image after this one is gone, as you see here. So what I want to test is uh, if there is uh, some image set on the square background image, uh, which means that I am testing basically on click listener and handling a picked image result. I don't care about the, the which image was selected, so basically I'm just gonna check if there is a drawable set on my image view. Let me show you the test class. So to mock intense with Espresso, you need to have intense test rule instead of activity test rule, as you usually have. Uh, this class rule is from my previous post where I explained how to automatically disable animations. And here in the before every uh, every test, I save the image. So this method saves the picked image. It uh, saves a mocked picked image. And then I tell that I'm gonna handle this intent with action action chooser and respond right away with this activity result which I have here. So I create a, an intent and set the picked image result and here it really depends on the way you pick your images. For example since I'm using the image cropper library I just had to dig into the impl source code and figure out the way they start image picker which is using this intent and then figure out the way that they get the response and the way they s handle their picked image result and uh, it's handled this way they save an image to cache directory and then I put this extra and uh, return and uh, here's uh, what I have in this uh, save picked image I'm uh, getting this image and saving it to, to a file which is gonna be uh, resolved in uh, activity result and uh, returned via file URI. So that's the setup. 
to mock the image picker intent and then just view tests here first just to check if uh, my image view initially has no drawable I've created this measure it checks if uh, the image view is drawable is not null. the second one is to click on the on this image and check if the background image drawable was set with any image any drawable let's run those tests Right, and both test passed. Uh, you saw that the image was uh, loaded and it was handled with the uh, mock in this intent result. And here's how you would test image picker with Espresso. Now I want to show you a few more examples of uh, some of tricky Espresso testing stuff, which is uh, not that easy to find on the internet. For example, if you have uh, a data that you display and you verify that you display it correctly. For example, you have some text images and you just verify that you displayed it correctly. For example, with text views, it's pretty easy. You just uh, check if the, you can check it with matches and then using with text measure. But what about images? There, is, uh, there isn't such a measure for images. And the easiest way to check that is that if you have your images uh, with URLs, then you can set a tag on the image view. So I'm gonna uncomment this stuff. That's a second image view which goes over here for this image loading testing. For example, I'm using Glide library and uh, you don't actually need to wait for image to be loaded just set the tag before loading images so set the tag of the image url that you're loading and then you would to verify that the correct image was loaded to that image view you would use this measure i've created this measure because the default ones are kind of confusing so I'm getting the tag from this view and comparing it to the input tag. And let's run this test. All right, and uh, here this test passed. Yeah, so that's the way you could test your image views, loading correct images. All right, one more example is uh, if you want to start an activity by class, you can do that via and here's how you would start it. That's an activity rule that you have here and you can get the activity this way and start any activity by class. And in general with this person there is lots of flakiness and um, there is a library by LinkedIn called test butler which helps you to prevent all those uh, edit text out of feel out of fix all the annoying stuff but it works only on emulators as it seems to be I, so check that out if you want and uh, i think that's it for now you can get the source code in the description subscribe and talk to you later